I was sitting here reading something and I immediately like kind of like snapped out of it and you know the scene in School of Rock when um Zach when Jack Black found out that Zach wrote a song and they were about to learn it <laughs> and he was like what are y'all about to do what do you think we're about to do we about to learn your song and he was like, he, Lawrence was in the court, the, the the nerdy kid with the glasses, the Asian kid. He was in the corner reading. He said, "No more reading. Time for rock." And just tossed his book. Ah, uh, that was hilarious. But anyway, today, new band, very excited. They are called Cream. Interesting name. It's simple. And I feel like I've heard another band or maybe not another band, but of course, plenty of songs named Cream um, in every genre, um, more noticeably Wu-Tang Clan Cream. Um, but the actual band, I felt like I've heard a, another band, a group called Cream, but you know, just a a good name, but could be not too simple, but I, I don't know. I, I do like the name. I like the name. And because this is our first time reacting to Cream, you know, we got to do some research. Find out who it is that we are looking at. Cream. Bam. Let's see what we got here. Cream were, uh, were a British rock band formed in London in 1966. The group consisted of a bassist, Jack Bruce, guitarist, Eric Clapton. Excuse me? Tears from Heaven, Eric Clapton? Oh my goodness. They only lasted two years? What the hell happened? Bruce was the primary songwriter and vocalist, although Clapton and Baker contributed to songs. Formed by members of a previously successful bands, they are widely regarded as the first supergroup. Cream were highly regarded for the instrumental proficiency of each of their members. So they just have this supergroup. They were like they were like the Miami Heat of 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 music and they just broke up in 2 years what the hell happened hold on i'm not going to lie i i want to go straight to tensions between bruce and baker led to their decision in may 1968 to break up Though the band were persuaded to make a final album goodbye and to tour, culminating in two final farewell concerts at the Royal Albert Hall on the 25th and 26th of November 1968, which were filmed and shown in theaters, and then, then in 1977 released as a home video farewell concert. What the hell happened between Bruce and Baker? They had three albums, and the third one is the first platinum-selling double album. That level of success, and they just broke up? What the hell happened? I, I'm not going to lie. I really want to know what happened. I'm like... Oh... Huh. 
From its creation, Cream was faced with some fundamental problems that would later lead to its uh, disso dissolution in November 1968. The antagonism between Bruce and Baker created tensions in the band. Clapton also felt that the members of the band did not listen to each other enough. Equipment during these years had also improved. New Marshall amplifier stacks produced more power and Jack Bruce pushed the volume levels higher, creating tension for Baker who would have trouble competing with roaring stacks. Clapton spoke of a concert during which he stopped playing and neither Baker nor Bruce noticed. Clapton has also commented that Cream's later gigs mainly consisted of its members showing off. I d <sighs> okay, so just ego trips. Which is to be expected. I mean, if it's a super group with all three guys being like the best at what they do where they're from i could see that but i mean that level of success to just toss it away <sighs> that sucks well anyway this is a long enough intro i know y'all gonna kill me white room we got a lyrics video so we're gonna have a lyric show on the screen uh, we'll do song research afterwards my battery's about to die so let's go I was their label where were they signed to if I was their label they wasn't breaking up hold on where were they signed to reaction Polydor reprise RSO echo in passing I've heard I've heard of Polydor and reprise the rest of them I've never heard of but I'll tell you what if I was their label and they were saying, yeah, we thinking about breaking up with that level of success and this quality of music, they weren't breaking up. I would have thrown the biggest check at them 
I would have put so many zeros on that chart. Do y'all hear this? Do y'all hear this? Okay, let's just start with the most evident thing. Okay? Baker on drums. Baker reminds me of John Bonham. He is slamming the life out of those drums. He is going nuts. Straight up nuts. He is going crazy on the drums. And I don't know how he's producing that sound, but it sounds incredible. That's one. Okay? Now, Bruce, this brother can sing. This brother can sing. I mean, that not falsetto, but that just, that high pitch and tone that he does midway through the verse. They said it was a lyric video, but I don't see no lyrics. I'm going to assume the lyrics are in the description because ain't no lyrics popping up. But his voice is perfection. And then Eric coming in with those face melters. This is madness. I can't believe they broke up in just two years. That sucks. So they was rushed before rush. That's what I got away from this. They were rushed before rush. That's what I took away from this. All three of them. I see why they had egos. All of them killed it. There's nothing to decipher here. 
it almost reminded me of like a Jim, Jimi Hendrix song. I can't think of which one. But that's so... Man, listen. Y'all know it's nothing better. I say it all the time. I said it with Zeppelin. I said it with Rush. I said it with CCR. I said it with... It's nothing better than when a drummer and a guitarist, specifically an electric guitar, just mesh perfectly. And they just vibe with each other. It's no better connection. That last minute was incredible. Bruce... His vocals, top notch, incredible. In one song, y'all know it take me three songs to become a fan. In one song, I'm a fan. I'm sold. I don't need to hit nothing. What? Did y'all hear that? That's probably the most head banging I've done in a long time. Oh, that's a crime that they broke up. Again, if I was their label, they wouldn't have broke up. I would have get I would have put a check in front of all three of them so big, they would have said, "Oh, I'll start listening to you now, bro. I'm sorry. I'll I'll stop I'll stop doing too much during our performances." I would have stopped. Did y'all hear that? Eric clapped and listen, I've only heard Tears from Heaven. And that was an acoustic guitar. It was sad. He was talking about his son. I mean, what he just did, that was one of the best solos I think I ever heard. That was incredible. And Baker on them damn drums, man. The fact that they just told a story, the fact that Eric said there was a couple of performances where he just stopped performing and they didn't even notice it, I don't know how. If any one of them were to stop doing what they were doing, it would be so noticeable, at least for me, because all three of them together is perfect. I can't imagine these three. That's a crime they broke up. I can't even get that out of my mind. Out of everything. I want to sit here and talk more about the song. And I should. Let me. Hold on. Song research. Let me do it real quick before my camera die. They shouldn't have broke up. That is a crime against music. The fact that those three broke up. Oh. Composed by bassist. Lyrics. By poet Pete Brown. Okay. Uh, okay. Pete Brown. Noted as the lyricist. Recorded from July 67 to April 68. Hmm. It was it was number 6 in the US. <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't top 10. 28 in the UK. Number one in Australia and Malaysia and Canada. Man, this song is incredible. It was released in 69. It was released it was released in the UK in 69. Released as a single in September of 68 after the album came out in August of 68. Gotcha. More cream. Pause. That was crazy. I might edit that out. I said more cream. If you get what I, why I said pause, that was crazy. 
That was crazy. Pause. I need more music from the band Cream as soon as possible. They are incredible. I can't believe they broke up in just two years. Oh man, that's terrible. That is terrible. With music like this, request and rec request and recommend more more music from Cream. I want to hear it. I'm already a fan. This really reminds me of when I reacted to Rush, Tom Sawyer. I immediately became a fan. I need to hear more from Cream immediately. If you don't request it, I'm going to do my own research and do it myself. I don't care. But I want y'all to request it. So request more from Queen. I mean, from Cream, and I'm listening. ASAP. I got to hear more from them. They are incredible. Period. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with Cream. Peace.